Hi, it's been a long time. Look how big our baby is, almost six months. You're looking at your wow wow. <laughs> Look at the camera, where's daddy? Where's daddy? Hey. Kai. Kai, where's daddy? Hi. Hi daddy. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. He is not camera shy at all. Cause we show him the camera all the time, right? We're taking photos of you all the time. That's our big boy. What do you want to tell everyone? What? What do you <laughs> that he does that when he's super excited or he really wants something. What do you want? You want the camera? You want photos? Here's my other one, my little one. Come here, baby. Say hi. 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 Look at how tall she is. Oh my goodness. She's not my baby anymore. I can still pick her up. She's still my baby. Until I can't pick you up. You're my baby. Right? <laughs> She's all awkward, like, stop calling me baby mama. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to show you guys my munchkins. I love you. Now I gotta go put you down, because you're gonna distract everyone, and I'm not gonna be able to talk. What? What do you want to say? Alright, so it's been a hot minute. Have you guys missed us? If you've missed us, give the video a like. Let us know you missed us. Um, we've missed you, but we've been so busy that we couldn't post. I know a lot of people have been asking. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably really haven't seen me in like ages. On Instagram, I do post almost daily in my stories. Uh, and then I try to post on the page, but not that often. But you'll know why in just a second. Uh, besides being busy and having a newborn, uh, we started a business. And... <laughs> A lot of it was on my shoulders because it was something that I wasn't even, I didn't start out like we were going to start a business. Um, it was just something I was doing for the family and then my husband, he's such a motivator. People don't see him because he's behind the camera, but he's the guy that's like, hey, do this, do that, you know, and he, he not only motivates me, but he, he helps guide me through it. So he's the one who pushed this because honestly, I, to this day, I still sit here and I'm like, how did I get here? How did I get to this point um, in the business? And it, it's like exciting, but nerve wracking. Anyways, can I sit now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it all started because mama reeked. Um, as in, you guys knew I was, I was struggling to find a natural deodorant that worked. Some would work for a little bit and then they would stop working um, or they wouldn't work at all for me. And then after I got pregnant and then breastfeeding, I just couldn't find anything that worked for me. I even went back to like the bad deodorants um, that you shouldn't use, but I, that's how desperate I was to not stink anymore. And those didn't even work. <laughs> So I'm like, oh my God, I'm broken. And I knew my, like once my hormones got back to normal, it would be fine. But if I was going to breastfeed for years, like, oh my God, I can't stink for a whole year. So something made me think, let me make my own deodorant. I don't know how or why I even thought I could be capable of it. Desperate science. But I was desperate. <laughs> so I was like, let me do it. Lots of failed attempts. You know those homemade, if you've ever tried to make it, you get that homemade deodorant feeling that like, it's like spatula, you gotta scoop it out, rub it on your fingers and uh, you know, like the whole process is just so like, this feels weird. I just want something quick and you know, it works. None of it worked. <laughs> I made so many and I was like, I reek, I reek, I reek. Some of it worked on my husband um, because he's obviously not going through these hormone <laughs> issues. But I finally found one that worked and that like sparked my interest in like, hey, I made a natural product at home Took a while, but I made it and I feel good. I'm like, let me start doing more stuff. So for Kai, I made like, uh, he was using Honest Shampoo and I honestly didn't care for it. And he had like baby acne and I was like, let me make him a natural soap and a uh, natural The acne was lotion. getting out of hand. Hmm? The acne was getting out of hand. Yeah, it was just a lot of white spots everywhere. And instead of it going away, it was like more and more and more were appearing. And I'm like, oh. So I made him a soap and a lotion um, and his acne started like just disappearing within like three washes like it, it all just started coming off it was like whoa what is this never again am I using anything else and I started making for Lila soaps um, and I, it was still just a like thing I was doing at home as a hobby I enjoyed it until I got to my husband and this guy has been using Irish spring soap forever and I always hated it because I was like this is drying out your skin dude <laughs> like you have beautiful olive skin and you have like a white cast like 
of dryness and I'm like it drives me nuts so I oh my goodness I honestly didn't know if he was even gonna go for it but I'm like let me just make him a soap and then let's make it smell masculine and I put like nice essential oils in it um he's like fine I'll, I'll give it a shot whatever came out of a shower and he's like I love it you gotta make this you gotta sell this he's like men will love this and I was like all right sure you like my soap cool <laughs> you know like I kind of just brushed it off and then he's like, well, can you make me a tea tree oil soap? Because we loved a tea tree oil soap that we tried. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can do it. You know, give me some time, I'll make it. And I made it for him and he ended up loving it. And then he's like, okay, now you gotta make me a tea tree oil uh, moisturizer for my face. And I had already made myself a serum and another lotion. So I'm like, okay, I can do that too. Give me some time. And it did and he loved it and you used it all up. Yep. Um, so I gotta make you a new one, actually. <laughs> so then he's like, "You, I'm, I'm so serious. Why don't you get your natural products out there, and you know, people who are like you and like natural stuff can benefit. You know, if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. But give it a shot." And so I made a lot of soap samples, like a lot, and we gave it to family, friends, my clients, my fitness clients. Thank you for those of you who participated in the pre-launch and tried out the products and left reviews on the website. You guys are awesome. Um, but yeah, everybody loved it. And I was like, okay, I think I can do this. <laughs> totally freaking out, but I'm like, I think I can do it. First, we got the name set, uh, all the business stuff out of the way because I wanted to make sure that all that was taken care of. The website was purchased. Yeah, that everything um, was gonna be legal. Hmm? <laughs> all the legal stuff. All the did. legal stuff. I wanted to get all that stuff out of the way. I didn't want anyone stealing our name or like, once you look up a domain, be careful because I swear they know and they pre-buy the domain and then they charge you a shit ton of money for it. So when you're looking for one and you're like, you 100% know you want to start a business, don't start searching it until you're ready to buy it because they know, they buy it and then they upcharge like crazy. We had so it. many names yeah. written down. And I actually I bought two names right away because I didn't know. And I'm like, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I ended up buying two domains for it. Uh, it's crazy. But anyways, that's kind of how it started. I started tapping into like natural products and then we decided to release two. I'm still working on the others. There'll be more, I promise. Shampoos, deodorant. The deodorant, I barely just finally got the formula down great. But there's still like packaging and everything that I have to worry about. But for now, we got soaps and candles. Okay, so the first soaps I started out with was the sandalwood, which was for him, sandalwood and oatmeal. The charcoal, which he had requested. I, I, I didn't bring it, but this is the charcoal. Look at that beauty. Um, charcoal and tea tree oil. And then the baby soap, which is for Kai and Lila. But Kyla has changed her mind and uses another one now. Um, this is detergent free. It is pet safe, baby safe, you safe. Anyone can use it. It's super gentle. These three are only fragranced with essential oils. So 100% natural, meaning no man-made product is in this. It comes from nature. Um, they all smell amazing. This smells like a, a beach day, a summer beach day. This one, oh my God, men, you need to use this soap. My husband, this is the first one he used, but he retired it for another one, which, there's me a little insane because I love the way it smells. I do too, but the other one wins. He can't pick which one he wants to use. That's the luxury of having a wife who makes you your soaps, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I make Lila use it so I could just sniff her. I love this. It is more masculine, but uh, the women, everyone I've given it to has loved it. So anyone can have it. Um, the other three, they do have fragrance, but I only use premium fragrance that are free of phthalates. You don't have to worry about... Um, any bad ingredient that's the only man-made and there's there's been people who are like ah, is it good or not it's man-made but it's man-made with natural ingredients um, and like things that are not harmful for you I still completely trust and use these um, but if you are very natural and you don't want any of that you have the option of these three um, the, let's go over some of them. Coffee soap. Coffee soap. Uh, this one's amazing. It's an antioxidant. It's great for your skin, but also if you've got cellulite, you know, you want to use it on your legs and thighs and it will waken up your skin and plump it nicely. Um, also, if you put coffee grains, I know totally off topic, put coffee grains as an exfoliate and it helps with that as well and circulation. Uh, my husband fell in love with my beer soap. 
creation. I was very, I don't know, while I was making it, I, I was like, this is not, no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> You're getting, something in me i was like mm. you're getting nauseous too and i was getting nauseous for making it and i was like i don't think it's gonna happen everybody everybody loves this soap now he only uses it we gave um his brother some of the first ones he loved once he used the beer soap he texted him holy shit the beer soap is the shit and i was like okay like that's so weird while i was making it i thought i would never make another I, batch again i didn't even want to try it because i had my other one you know what i want to try, like, try beer soap yeah. and i'm like no but beer beer has so many great benefits for your skin and he's like well i'm gonna give it a shot because i want to test out all your products I obviously i'll be your guinea pig here <laughs> And then he's like, no, that's the one. That's the one. I'm using that one from now on. Yeah, for the rest of the life. <laughs> <laughs> and I use um, the oatmeal and shea butter one. Oh, it smells so good. But I also use beer soap. I'm not going to lie. I mean, Lila. now it leaves your skin smelling so amazing. And Lila. then Lila, now that's the one she uses. She was using the baby soap. But uh, once I got the beer soap and then he bragged about it, she's like, I want to try it. And after that, she has not. Went she back comes to out. Beer soap. <laughs> she's like, I have beer soap. I use beer soap. <laughs> and her skin smells amazing. Um, but I do love the oatmeal one too. So I kind of, I, I go between the two. And then we have French pink clay soap. They smell amazing. They all smell amazing. I'm going to keep saying I wouldn't have made it if it didn't smell amazing, right? Uh, so those are her soaps. I love them. I hope you guys love them. If you're looking for a natural alternative, try them out. Okay, so now candles. Why candles? Uh, I love candles and I mostly burn them around the holidays uh, or when I clean the house and I just want the house to smell good because it looks good. Uh, and then I started feeling bad because I read that paraffin wax is really bad for you. I'll have it linked on my website so if you want to read about it more, go ahead and read about it more. But paraffin wax is crude oil. Um, it's releasing toxins into your house. Uh, candles that are not clean and have paraffin wax and lead wicks and fragrances that are not clean um, are a pollutant and it's, at, it's, it's adding to the bad quality of your indoor air, which indoor air is already worse than outdoor air, so you don't need to add more worse stuff to it. And if you're not using that and you're using aerosols, that's even worse because aerosols are really bad for you. Incense are really bad for you. Incense are like you're smoking cigarettes. Um, and everyone gets hurt by it in your house too. So I wanted to make a candle that was clean and it took a while to find out what I wanted to use because I looked up soy and I looked up uh, palm wax and coconut wax and I didn't really like how soy and palm wax were being made and like hearing about all the rainforests um, getting hurt. So I was like, I coconut wax, let's just do that one because you know, it's, it's, it's a better alternative in my opinion. Um, so let's, Let's look at my beautiful candles. First, they're in a glass vessel. Secondly, they have this really nice wood top lid airtight so that when you open it, you just get a bunch of fragrance. You wanna close your candles, by the way, because if you don't shut them, the fragrance oils um, escape from the wax through time, so with every burn, it's less strong. So you wanna cover them up. Uh, another thing we use, I use wood wicks. Not only do they crackle and mimic a fireplace and sound so beautiful and calming, if your house is quiet, because mine is not. <laughs> <laughs> if it ever is, I'm lighting one of these babies and enjoying them to its fullest extent. Um, but the wood is natural. No soot, you're not gonna get any of that black ash. Have you guys burned candles where you got that black ash? Yeah, that's, that's also uh, adding to the pollution in your house. You won't get any of that, so it's a super clean burn. Um, fragrances I use are all phthalate free. <laughs> I always, I have a hard time with that word because I always want to pronounce the pH in it, but there, it, you have to ignore it. So they're free of phthalates. I only use that skin safe. Um, the best stuff I can find, whatever I feel comfortable burning in my own home or using in my own home is the only thing I'm gonna uh, make available to you guys. So those are, are very clean candles. They smell amazing. Right now we only have four fragrances out. Uh, coconut chamomile, tobacco vanilla, guys, you'll love that one, and the coconut chamomile. And then there's sugar crystals and uh, plum cashmere. Those four, because it takes a while to figure out what's gonna work for your candle. See, unlike paraffin wax, the reason why paraffin wax is still being used, even though it's so bad, and a lot of the top companies use it, is because you can fragrance it really, really well. Like, it takes fragrance the best. Um, it takes color really good, but even dyes are not good 
for you. Um, and it's a harder wax, meaning when people ship out wax, uh, their candles, their wax will not melt. When you use a natural coconut, soy, or palm, the problem with that is if it sits out for too long, there could be some melting. Now I've found a way to fix this by adding beeswax. So there's a little bit of beeswax in this very small amount, uh, which can keep it a little bit harder. I even tested it. I put it outside in direct sunlight, in the harshest sunlight, in a box for six hours. Um, and when I opened it, it was a tiny bit of liquid around the edge. Just let it get hard. So if you're buying from like Florida or Arizona or your package has been out for a really long time in the sun, um, just let it reharden before you burn it. Um, but that's just what it is with natural ones. Um, and the beeswax does help it so it doesn't because I before I use the beeswax, the coconut wax was so so soft that even just touching it like you indent the wax and it had a big pool of wax so that it was impossible to use pure coconut wax unless I have a shop, which may maybe in the future, then you could sell it completely 100% coconut wax. Um, but yeah, I love these candles. I feel safe using them. Everyone has has tried them. Love it. So um, those are the two things we are launching today. First 20 people to purchase get a free gift. So jump on that. Um, um, you didn't tell them about the name basic. of the company. Oh my gosh, I totally, I spent so much time and energy on the name and the paperwork and I didn't even say anything basic, which I'm sure you've already seen because it's been in the, uh, he came up with the name actually. He just texts me randomly, what do you think of basic? And I'm like, holy shit, that's a great name. Basic ingredients, basic, I love it. So we did basic, basic. This is the basic soap. Basic, like. the basic soaps, yeah. I, I wanted to do just do basic, but I couldn't because not that a company has it. Somebody like um, bought the domain for it, and they were charging like a hundred thousand dollars for it. I ain't rich. <laughs> <laughs> if I were, I'd jump on that. But no, um, yeah, that's how it works. Crazy people, huh? Smart or crazy? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so, anyways, woohoo! Finally, the launch is uh happening today and now we can hopefully go back to normal and start posting more it was just so hectic with it felt like it was never gonna happen because there was always something to do it wasn't packaging it was something with the business or you know something just not working out right and now that that's behind us I can breathe and hopefully we can be back to our normal selves and be posting as much as we are um, but anyways how's, how's been your workouts my workouts <laughs> lacking but when I have them I have them good you know and I'm, I'm doing good I've, I lost 10 pounds pre pregnancy weight I'm not super happy about that but I'll get it back I mean through breastfeeding always makes me lose more weight than I'd like um, so yeah I'm down 10 pounds <laughs> I gotta gain those 10 pounds I ain't mad I get to eat more <laughs> no, I'm a little mad ow ow bloopers I'm a little mad because it took a while to gain that 10 pounds but I'll get it back um, but now everything should go back to being good, right? Yep. Yeah. Anyways, comment below if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help. I hope you guys enjoy all the products if you do put an order through. Um, and give me any feedback possible. I want to know what you guys feel and if there's area of improvement before I move to the next product to launch. Hopefully it's deodorants. I don't know in what order. Whichever product gets done and finalized and is perfect. And then I can get that out for you guys. So anyways. Mm -hmm. Help us by liking the video. Help us by liking the video. You know, all those little things, they matter. You know, it matters with the algorithm. So uh, help us out with a like, comment, whatever. Say hey. It's been a while. <laughs> anyways, we're going to wrap it up here. Be sure to be subscribed. Hit the bell uh, so you're notified every time we post a video. Maybe another launch. You want to know when products come out. I'll probably announce it here and then maybe make another channel for the line. We'll see. There's a lot to do. Anyways, until next time, bye guys.